I won't be live for one minute twenty. That because makes no you sense. Because you passed it over here. Well, we are here, and we have got the title of if you want to build your dream body, you need to do these five things. Faye doesn't even know what I'm going to say, so she's just going to have to join in. You can lead on her then. Yeah. So if we're joining, add in hashtag I'm here with your name, um, or even if you are watching the replay, so hashtag replay, um, so we know that you've watched it and we know that you're doing it um sam's here so yeah i think Sam this, and Roger. i think this will be a good one a lot of people don't like to do it or spend a lot of time doing it mm, interesting mm. Mm. Teresa. hello Teresa. so we have got 10 11 people <clears throat> so we can definitely you could definitely say your name saying i'm here introduce yourself and then we will start getting, once we get some engagement, we get some people talking back. Yeah. I mean, if there's 10 or 11 people watching, we should have 10 or 11 comments, right? Right. We've got two people dropping off. Right. They're like, oh, right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to share my name. I just want free advice. Kyra's here. But she's on Wi-Fi. She's at the gym telling people to stop hogging equipment. She is. Let's have a little look. Who is here? Oh my god, there's a dog outside. Sounds not very happy, doesn't he? It's not a happy dog. Not happy, trappy. So, five things you should be doing if you're on the if you're on the body of your dreams. Um, so lots of people should be watching this because like we said before, not a lot of people do and not a lot of people are willing to spend enough time doing it. Um, and it's the whole reason because they don't, they don't look like they want to at the end of their process of their weight loss journey. It's yeah, very, very it common. I know where it is. Who spilled beans? Who spilled the baked beans, please? So if we are watching, lovely Jenna is here from Boston, from Boston. I always think of, um, I thought even a Boston accent. I always think of Mark Wahlberg when I when I uh, see Jenna's name. I don't know why. I think he's a famous actor from Boston. He did like Ted. And was it Ted? Ted. It was Ted, wasn't it? Ted and Ted too. The little bear film. Um, but yeah, people, start putting in what five things must you be doing. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. I, I thought it was. Teresa, that is. Oh, is it? At least I'm not the only one. Teresa's definitely seen Ted. It's an older, it's not that old. It but... is. It's like a decade old, I reckon. Oh, it's a funny film. Um, so what what do we need to be doing? Um yes, he's from my state. There we go, I knew it. And his brother, Danny. Donny. Oh Donny, I can't read from you. From New Kids on the Block. I do not know what that is. No, is that I... a TV program or a band? I don't know. I think I think that's um, Matt, Dave, Matt Damon. But don't they look like brothers? Those two, Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon. You could definitely be mistaken. That's strange that they both come from Boston. Hmm. And they both got a brother called Donny and uh, from New Kids, New Kids on the Kids Block. Block. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So let's put in what five things do you think you need to be doing um, to get the body of your dreams? Five things. Even one, just put in one, two, or three um, to be able to get the body of your dreams. What do you think? Nutrition, sleep, and Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, Photoshop is definitely a good one. If you do a course, that is the quickest way um, to look good in photos. Faye seems to be joining in at the back of the room. Oh, my name's coming up. <laughs> Mm. Faye doesn't know what these five things are. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. Mm. I'm guessing. Come on. Don't just let Faye do it all. I'm winning. Faye's winning. Walk, walk more, walk. protein, water, sleep well, work out. They will all definitely help. 100%. Lower stress. Yeah, 100% that would help. 
Cool. So let's try and get two more answers and then we will spill the beans. The beans, be single. No, you could definitely do what we're saying. <laughs> it's easier when you're single, definitely. Get a coach. Mm. That that's a good that's mm. a good one. It's a good one. Teresa. Accountability. Hey Kate. Kate Walker's just rocked up. How's the wedding planning going? Stressful. And Debbie's here. Debbie. I bet Debbie, Debbie's seen how to get the body of your dreams. She's like, she's, she stops working and she's at yeah. work. And she's like, I want to know. Debbie's not that far off the body of her Debbie dreams. Debbie looks incredible. She's just very critical of herself. Yeah. So thank God we're here to tell her. Shh, tell her off. Shh, you're looking good. That is Debbie saying hey there. Ah, hello, Debbie. Right, we'll just jump into it. Um, so the five things. So again... These are not like the only five things. A lot of stuff that has been said on here is going to help you get the body of your dreams. But we're just picking one facet of a multifaceted journey oh, of becoming um, the best version of yourself. So what do people... Best version. The best version of yourself. For body, isn't it? Yeah, the best body version oh, okay. of yourself. Right, okay. um, hey, so, Rachel. So the main thing is building muscle. Building mu whoa. Have you got a license for them? Fucking get getting those guns, guys. She's gonna screenshot this layer and be like, I'm gonna post that on Instagram. <laughs> um, but building muscle, yeah, that is gonna be the biggest thing. So spending phases building muscle will give you the body of your dreams. It may not right at the end because you've you've put some fat on fat on the end of it um, during your cycle, <laughs> but you need to be building muscle. So many people do weight loss for so long um, right. or they're in such a, a big deficit that they end up losing um they end up losing muscle like through chronic dieting. And then they just look what we call skinny fat or just flat, where you don't really have any tone. Like you have lost body fat, but you've lost muscle. So you're just like flat, like like a pancake, like pancake bum, pancake arms, Sponge like your triceps, your triceps are just finger wings jiggling in the wind. And you're like, this is not <laughs> what I wanted to look like. Um, so the first thing people need to realize is they need to spend phases building muscle. So the five things we're going to talk about is what you can do to build that muscle. And Faye's going to like a few of these, so she can eat on some of them, but I will give her, I'll give her the titles. Okay, because I don't know what we're talking about here, guys. Cam is, uh, <clears throat> Cam's running the, running the show today. So it's obviously going to be a good one. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've learned it. Building muscle, spending time in a lean building phase. So the first thing we're going to talk about for muscle gain is total calories. There's two, two general options, all right? So you're either going to be, which is probably the best one, in a slight surplus. So you could say that's 10 to 15% over, uh, over your maintenance or your TDE calculation. Um, and then that is going to help you give you just enough uh, recovery, just enough building blocks uh, to... Keep us that water, please. She just puts me off. So once you've got the building blocks and a slight surplus, you're sending the signals along with what we're going to talk about later to build building muscle. That is the quickest way. You will accumulate fat. There is no way you could build muscle and never have a smidge of body fat. You're going to have to do this phase and gain small amounts of body fat if you do it um, well enough and you stay consistent. Um, so that's the most important thing. The second time you can do you can do it is you can body recomp. So where you lose body fat, but you build muscle at the same time. Um, two, three ways are ideal. Either one, you are 40, 50 pounds overweight. Um, two, you're, you're untrained or detrained for at least... Uh, I don't know the time frame, but say for a couple of years that like you just haven't trained, you haven't even touched weights, done anything exercise wise. So you've literally just detrained everything to maybe what you you did when you were young. Or you're new. Or three, you're new and you're brand new to it. So you get like those newbie gains. If you fit one of those three uh, categories, um, body recomp and losing fat and building muscle is going to be a lot easier for you than someone like me or Faye, where we. <clears throat> pretty much have to split it up. We'll do one or the other. Otherwise, it's technically doable, but it's just so slow. Um, it wouldn't be worth it, and you'd just lose motivation and quit. Mm. 
So that is the first one. So the first one is total calories. You either got to be a surplus or you got a body recomp. Um, and then the next one, Faye's going to do. So you need to have full amino acid profile protein sources. So it sounds like a tongue twister. Can you see he's left me with the really complicated mathematical scientific one? He had the one was like, just eat more. And he's left me with a really hard one. She loves talking. She she gets triggered by these types of things. I get triggered by you. <laughs> so basically, uh, a okay, so when Cam said you have to eat more, it's not just eat more shit, it's not just eat more chocolate or eat more cake. Unfortunately, you do need the right building blocks to build muscle. Otherwise, you're just going to build fat. So the way I talk about it is typically like to build muscle, you need two things, just like building a building, okay? You need the, well, three things really. You need the plan to start with, the architecture, uh, the architectural design. Um, you also need the building blocks to actually build the building. And you need the guy or girl in charge saying, hey, that needs to go there, that needs to go there, that needs to go there. You guys need to sort that out and all that kind of stuff. You know, like the supervisor on the crew. So when we're talking about um, building muscle, it's very similar. So you need the plan. You need what you're going to be doing so you can actually make sure you're doing it. You need the building blocks, which is protein. And you need the people to do it, which is the muscles, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the muscle uh, building signal from the brain, okay? So we'll talk about that maybe uh, maybe later. I don't know if it's popping up. But we're talking about the building blocks right now, and that's going to come from protein. So there is um, 12. I think there's 12 off the top of my head. Uh, uh, particles in a chain of amino acids in, to form one piece of protein, okay? Like a strand of little blocks. Now, these little blocks, you need a complete string in order to create muscle. If you, or to, to create, sorry, um, a bit of protein, and the protein then creates muscle. So if you're eating <clears throat> chicken, beef, eggs, uh, pork, fish, what else? Quinoa, possibly, like to an extent, but mostly any animal product, you will get a full train. It's called a, a, a branch, uh, full branch chain of amino acids, so full amino acid. Complete profile is the, is what it's actually called. If you have, um, so say that is like your cement, that's your bricks, that's your foundation, that's all of these things like pop in together to create your building. If you have um, plant-based protein, which you can definitely do it, it might be that carrots have got a uh, branch chain one and two, broccoli has got three and four, um, um, think of something else. Brussels sprouts has got five and six, but you won't get a plant-based food that is the complete chain, apart from quinoa. So you have to eat a shit ton of quinoa to get the to get the same amount as one chicken breast. Likewise, you can't just be like, well, I'm only going to eat broccoli because broccoli's only got number three and number four of the branch chain amino acids. I'm just making these numbers up, okay? When it comes to like which one's got got it uh, but you need the complete chain which is why if your plant base is more difficult a to lose weight b to build muscle and c to be healthy essentially like when we when we look at it as full spectrum um so if you're not eating the right food and the right amount because cam just said you need to eat over what you need and it needs to be in protein you can't just eat extra cake unfortunately because the cake hasn't got the protein um has got the protein chain in there in order to build the muscle. So you need to eat enough protein. So as you want to build more and more uh, muscle, you need to make sure you're hitting the enough protein in order to build it. So, yeah, if you're eating vegan foods, I'm sorry, you're going to have to eat more and start um, having like multiple vegan food sources to try and reach a full profile. Mm. Um, and also, so it's normally higher in fat as well. Because like a lot of protein you'll get in plant-based um, is nuts and seeds, and they are really high in fat. Um, generally, when we are looking at potential meal plans, like I've done in the past with some um, plant-based clients, it has been very difficult to get them on a low enough calorie um, diet, but with high enough protein. It is a challenge, 
um satan is i think one of the best things but the devil yeah go figure but yeah it's really really solid so that's two points two points so you need a slight calorie surplus or you're going to body recomp with a small deficit um when you are eating protein you need full protein profile so if you're a vegan make sure you know what you're eating um, and that matches the description of what fate just said um and then the next one you're going to say well how much do i need so that is the next thing so total protein you need you need enough building blocks to be able to provide the body <clears throat> with the materials like it needs to build a house. So just a way of working out your protein is to find a range. Is to go into the Busy Women's Weight Loss Group, go into the top uh, section, the feature section, go into training, and it tells you exactly how to work out how many calories, sorry, how many grams of protein you need. There we go, full stop. Cool, so that point's done. So that one was a sneaky one done. Um, but you know where to go. If you want to work out that, then look at that. And then the extra attachment to that is the protein framework. Um, and that will help you build it out to once you know the total number that you have got. Um, so that's three. So we've got our, our total calories. We've got our total protein. We've got our protein sources or quality, as we could call it. Um, the next one is consistent good sleep and everyone's like yawning like oh, i know uh, i just want to go to the gym i don't want to sleep i'll sleep when i'm dead i think if sleep was not important evolution would have gotten rid of it years ago yeah. years, years and years millennial years ago yeah. but it's stuck around for this long and we haven't evolved out of it so as creatures of whatever you want to call us sleep is probably one of the <laughs> most important factors that we need and then especially for muscle gaining because like that is that is basically where you're going to build muscle you don't build muscle in the gym you build it when you're sleeping you actually tear muscle down you break muscle at the gym and that is the point so imagine you like breaking up something tearing it apart like this and then when you've got enough protein and everything else it's it comes back closer and well it comes back stronger with this kind of bridge in between the the tear essentially micro tears you can't feel them <sighs> unless you do some serious damage but it's just like a small little tear uh, that's rebuilt over time. And that's it. So and it's, it's built in sleep. So uh, rest, a rest and repair. So yeah, re rest and digest, rest and repair. But I not, won't go to the gym every day. Well, you probably won't repair quick enough. So you're just coming back in and breaking down the same thing without rebuilding it up. So a lot of our clients will get great results going from six days a week to like three um so one of them. it's more about the intensity if you really want to start building muscle in the gym um one of the biggest factors that has now recently been proven for muscle building is that mechanical tension or intensity pretty much beats everything else like even if you're doing tons of volume great you're doing hunt you're doing 10 by 10 german volume but you're at, you're always in five reps in reserve so you're actually five reps away from like failing so we don't have to fail every every exercise every rep can we can we just clarify what failing means because some people know failing in a weights term is where you physically could not do anymore it's not when not when technique gives out like that's more of a smart technical failure um but when you're you're doing i don't know bench press leg press and you physically even if your life depended on it. You could do not. You could not do one more. If a man was there, I saw some lady in a comment section the other day. She's like, "When I go to the gym, I imagine someone's going to give me a million dollars if I could just do one more rep." She's like, "And I just do that on all of them." She's multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. Um, but if if you do think like that and you, have, you get into the mindset of you have being able to push it, like we said on a recent live, if you don't send the send the signal to your body to grow why would it grow if you're always doing the same reps and the same weight it will have initial growth like people see and then it just stops why why would the body grow anymore um so we need to start pushing past um and in towards failure 60 70 percent of the time like to technical failure at least mm. um to be pushing the body enough to get muscle growth and that's the biggest thing home training gym training and i think there are safer ways to do this as well like i remember once i was at the gym and i was doing bench press <clears throat> and that's the fucking probably the worst one to possibly fail on 
because I was like this. I was like, oh my God, like this is the thought that went through my head. If I don't get this up, if, if I don't get this up, I'm going to die. Probably partly because I'm going like, to choke, but partly of embarrassment at the gym as well. So I had to push through. And God, that was solid, but I, I managed to get through. So like, I wouldn't, personally, I don't recommend going to failure with that intense um, on something like a bench press, incline bench press, or even a squat, unless you've got a spot. So the other day, uh, Cam was pressing and I was spotting him. That's fine. You can use a Smith machine. That's that's a, any kind of machine normally will be safer because there's safety um, safety triggers, I guess, on them. So if you're going to do like a Smith machine, you just got, if you're like stuck there, you just hook it back and it would hook onto the machine. You could stop it. If you were doing a leg press machine, well, it only goes so far. So you're not going to like, you know, it'll just stop with your knees up at your chest, basically. Uh, so there are definitely ways to do it. If you're with someone, you can do it in a squat and stuff. But personally, I only recommend doing it on, you know, on safe exercises when you're going by yourself. And even if you just push heavy with maybe like one to two reps in reserve for your big lifts and then go to failure on your isolation exercises, I think that can be a really helpful thing and safe to do as well. Because a lot of people in here are are new maybe and they're a bit scared of hurting themselves or, you know, like they don't know how to do things properly. So maybe machines are the better way to, to push to failure. And I used to be one of those people that said, don't do machines, it has no stability. And I used to be all team free weights. Free weights is a one million percent answer. And I'd say over the last five years, I've completely, not like switched, but now I just do both. Like simply, you just do both. You can get the best out of both. You can create really good core strength and working on your own stability, doing free weights like back squat, like... Um, Z press, shoulder press, lunges, squats. All yeah. of them. But at the same time, if sometimes my goal is to is pure muscle growth in certain areas, like in just in my back, just in my chest, or I want to work my arms more. Or for um, girls, your glutes, your glutes, your hamstrings, your shoulders. And you want to go to failure and you don't regularly train with a partner. Machines are a great way, especially the Smith machine. I used to hate that machine, but now I love it and use it all the time. Yes. Because I, I, I can train to failure probably every time I go on it um or very close to it and have the safety of not crashing my own head um and being able to push my body like sometimes i'll do five and then next week i've done five and a half and then next week i've done six and then suddenly i'll jump to eight um or i'll stay on one for a while and you can get quite good progression out of machines um and just sometimes it makes life easier so best of both worlds and sometimes you don't have to like faff around with changing plates as well on a machine it's just it's pins. A pin. yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that's four covered with an extra bonus of what we've just talked about. So we've got best thing you can do to get your dream body is to do a phase of muscle building and accept that you'll gain a little bit of fat, um, but you'll never look. You, I will say this quite confidently: you'll never look like what you want to look like unless you do a building phase. People see these magazines, see these influencers, um, and they have been doing muscle building phase. They have built muscle. They have been doing strength training. Um, so suck it up, pick a time to do it, and get it done. Because yeah. it will be the best thing you can do for your body, for your metabolism, for your overall health. Um, confidence. Confidence. I um, think it's really hard. I, I'm going to like share here. It is really hard, especially as a woman, to go through a build phase. People call it bulk. People call it reverse diet. People call it build, off-season, whatever you want to call it. Basically, when you're trying to build muscle, it is very difficult. It's difficult to do. So if someone comes to me and says, I've I've gained um, five pounds in the last two weeks, but I've eaten in a deficit and I've done all this running, I, it must be muscle. And I'm like, it's fucking absolutely not muscle. You're having a bloody giraffe. Like, I have gained over the last nine months, something like that, maybe I've gained four pounds of muscle, five pounds of muscle, something like that. You know, you can't be precise. But the body fat that comes with it is something you have to mentally handle. And if you guys have, have gone on to any of my like reels, you will see the shit that I get for being fat and not having a clue what I'm talking about. But now that I'm starting to lean out uh, because I'm now going through my cut, so I spent all of last year in a build phase. Yes, you look a little bit tubby, a little bit fluffy, 
uh, you feel in a little bit more insecure and stuff. But now that I'm leaning out, you can definitely start to see where I've built the muscle. And then in my photo shoot, hopefully, we're going to um, really see the results shine. But it is mentally tough. And I think some of the – you've got two options of when to do a bulk, right? You should do them – or a build, wherever you want to call it. You should do them for a minimum of, like, three months. Absolute minimum. Three months at a time. Not three months through the year. You can't do a month in January – month in may and a month in september you have to do a serious like build phase bare minimum three months um you can do them two two key uh, key times i guess time number one is winter you know what they say winter body uh, sorry summer bodies are built in the winter and this is really helpful because you're like you know covered up so if you've got any extra pods you're not like throwing it out there your bingo wings aren't hanging out or anything but you are building mass and building muscle. This, but then that means in summer, when you are coming to the shred, you need to eat really, really clean. You need to be doing cardio. You can't have the ice cream, or you can, but you know, ideally you don't be eating ice cream, having barbecues and all that kind of stuff. The second option is to do it in summer, which is what I've recommended with some of my clients now. Um, using July and August as a bit of like a bulk phase, or June, July and August, I guess as a bit of a build where we've got the extra calories. We're not going over the top. We're not eating like a ton of shit. But if we are going to have barbecues, if we are going to have the extra food, uh, you know, going out for socials, weddings, all of that kind of stuff, holidays, it means that the extra calories can now be used to build muscle and to pack on mass. So it is a little, but then again, in winter, you've got to go and do the light food, the lower calories and stuff like that. So there's never the you know, an ideal time because you're always going to suffer one way or the other. In winter, you don't want to be not eating chocolate and um, uh, Thanksgiving and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But then in summer, you don't want to be not doing the socials and stuff. So you basically have to pick your heart, suck it up and just fucking do it anyway. So they're my two um, pros and cons to, to the best times to do them, I think. In ideal world, you buck and then you do a like a tapered cut into summer. So in summer, you're you're there. But it's very unlikely that people will start now or maybe in two months' time, start their bulk, take you through to... Because uh, if you start in two months' time, we're in August, right? August, September, October, November, December. That's four months, like a decent amount of time. And then January starts to cut, no one does it. Because people now aren't thinking about next summer. They're thinking about their holiday in two weeks time, which they're now stressing about because they haven't lost the weight that they told themselves they lose last year when they went on holiday and felt uncomfortable. So what I'm saying is wherever your goal is, start now. Went on tangent there. Shit. Shit. All right, we need to do a one on a two. We need to start asking people some stuff. The ones okay. and the twos. Who has gone through a build phase, a purpose lean bulk, a strength building phase, where you haven't purposely haven't been trying to lose weight. One, if you've been through it. Two, if you haven't. I can tell you now. Three, three, if you've only ever tried to lose weight or constantly trying to lose well, weight. Well, that's the two, isn't it? Mm, okay. Two. One, if you've tried two to points. purposely lose weight, and two, if you've only ever tried to lose. You just said the same thing. One is to gain weight. Sorry, I hit my leg and I was a bit uh, under panic. Two, only tried to lose. Teresa. Who else? Sam Prattley. I will say, uh, someone that's been very successful in a build phase. Do you know who I'm going to say? Me. No, it's not you, love. Liz. Yeah, Liz, but anyone else? That's a current client. No. Debbie. Oh, Debbie, yeah. Yeah, Debbie's done crazy. Uh, and Catherine um, Newman, actually. Mm. They've, bought, they've both done really, really well in a build where we've made them overeat. We've made, made them basically try and gain weight um, and build muscle or at least maintain weight. They haven't necessarily gone up, but they've definitely maintained. But they've recomped, so they've built a ton of muscle. And now when we've come into a cut... Like, it's really, really showing, 100%. Yeah, so basically a lot of twos. It's a very tough subject 
but that that that's the biggest thing like it will be one of the best things you could do um and it's, it's the biggest thing people aren't doing because of the time frame it takes like a good thing to understand is why people like it is people like instant gratification we like seeing results like who doesn't um but a very rough rule to go by is you can lose up to one percent of your body weight per week in a weight loss phase and that can be deemed as healthy if you start getting 1.5 2.2 percent then it starts to become too much um but to gain muscle or to gain body weight you you're aiming to gain one percent of the body weight per month so you can lose weight at a healthy uh, sustainable rate four times quicker than you can gain weight so that is one i'd argue that with women it's less as well yeah, and that, that's just the general. Like, yeah. if you're very new to training, even if you're female, but if you're very new to training, it's going to be up to 1% per month that mm-hmm. you can gain weight. You're not saying that's pure muscle, yeah. but that's the rough numbers. Like, we had Liz, she was 57. She gained six centimeters, six, eight centimeters on her bum. But we're saying, like, we need you to be trending up a 0.2 here, 0.3 there, 0.8. So we lowered it, and then she had a 0.1. So she was trying to get a 1% body weight increase per month. Um, and that's just why it just takes longer. Mm. So you, like face says, you have to start a lot earlier. Whereas like you see like eight week cuts and shreds, if done properly, then it's very doable. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's just a four to one ratio generally of how quickly you can lose fat to how quickly you can build muscle. And I think also it is that basically it's a head fucking net where you can't see anything changing because at the same time as building muscle, yes, you're building muscle, but you might be gaining a little bit of body fat, the weight might be going up, and that's what we're trained to focus on. We're not really trained to um, look at the weight that we're lifting at the gym and pushing that and be like, yes, I'm getting stronger, I'm feeling better, I've got more energy. We don't look at those as measurements of success. We are trained to look at um, weight, how much we weigh, essentially, not even do our clothes fit better? Like, we don't even look at that as a measurement of success. Um, Our clients do, of course, but generally, we look at um, weight. So you guys know, uh, number one, if you can resonate with what I'm about to say, number one, okay, you have gone into a fat loss phase, you've tried to lose weight, you've been bombarded with information, you don't really know which direction to go in, you choose a direction, But after a week, two weeks, four weeks, not necessarily seeing the change that you want as quickly as you want, you give up and find something else. You're constantly starting new diets, new programs, new uh, workouts, wherever it's going to be, because you just don't know if you're doing it right. Number one, if you've ever done anything like that. No one's done it. You're fucking having a laugh. You're lying, because I've spoken to some of you and you've said it. Full of shit, these guys. Full of shit. I think it's delayed. You have to wait a bit. Okay. But anyway, there we go. One, one, one. Yeah. Um, it's even harder with a build phase because you, there's there's tons of information on how to lose weight. There is less information on how to build muscle, especially for women, I think, uh, and what to look for and how to do it and how to make sure you're on track. So I think that's why it's even harder. Of course... As well, what I said uh, earlier on was the societal uh, expectations that we have on ourselves. Tammy's in the pool. Sorry, Tammy. Of course. Um, The societal uh, expectation that that we have on ourselves and obviously the society has on us as women, that we should look a certain way and that we should be training to lose weight and being skinny. Um, That's something that I have a lot on my uh, reels is like, you don't know what you're talking about, you're fat, what gives you the authority and blah, blah. Why aren't you skinny? Why haven't you got a small voice? I'm like, what's on my fucking goal right now, mate? And even these strangers online are, um, you know, casting their opinions, their unwanted and irrelevant opinions onto a stranger. So if it, you know, I get affected by it sometimes, but you guys probably would get a lot more affected by it. I'm just hardened to it by this point in time but if we are expected to look like these instagram models or these bikini models or whatever we have to go through the fluffy phase to get there and that is just a fact uh, one of my clients goes to a gym where there's a bodybuilding a girl like a, a bikini uh, competitor and she said that she looks 
in a, you know, not in a horrible way, but she looks like she's gained weight. She looks like she's gained quite a bit of weight uh, over the winter, I think it was. And now she's starting to shred back down so you can really see the mass that she's, you know, gained muscle-wise and now loss of body fat. So we have to be okay with being a little bit fluffy and maybe having some derogatory uh, comments and basically not giving a shit about them because we know long-term this is better for us than consistently trying to have abs. There's my, I'll get off my uh, uh, soapbox now. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. You're very kind. Just because Facebook trolls are knobs. That's why the knob, knob heads, as knob. we would say in the UK, knob head. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we have covered it. So the main thing is like, those are like the five things. I'm not going to say the last thing because we've pretty much covered it. Um, and we're going to leave you hanging. So you have to tune into the next one. So that is going to be one of the biggest things is muscle gaining, working out when you can do it. Um, so we've gone through total calories, what we need to do there. We've gone through total protein. Check out the, the video that kick ass. What's it called again? Unleash your inner badass. Unleash your inner badass. Um, consistently good sleep, full amino acid profiles. Um, and then the last <laughs> one was progressive overload. But I feel like we were talking about that one on the exact one last time, I think, on Friday. Maybe yeah, one of the lies maybe, we're talking yeah. about it. Um, so do those, those five things are going to help you um, in a muscle gaining phase. Um, I think a lot of what talk, phase talked about is a lot of it is mindset than anything mm. and just having realistic expectations of it and having the, the knowledge or the support to go with it can, can just really help. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes just someone saying you're on the right track, just keep going is, uh, is exactly what you need. I think sometimes, especially in a bulk. Yeah, I, yeah. And also the other thing is, just to add on to this, when there's very little difference between, so say say I'm duplicated, me doing the same program, one eating in a deficit and one eating in a surplus will get different results. It is not the training program necessarily that gives you the results, whether you build muscle, whether you lose fat, it's the food over the um, over the exercise workout. So, you know, if any of our clients are worried about, oh, well, I'm only in my three to five rep range, it doesn't matter. Like if you, or not our clients, because they, they understand everything. But, you know, if you are in a three to five rep range or something and you're like, shit, well, I'm trying to lose weight, I should be on a 12 to 15 or 15 to 20 or 20 to 50, whatever. You need to understand that it's the nutrition that's most important uh, over the training. I say 80%. 100%. You have to fuel your body and give it the right materials because without the materials, you just can't build your house. Mm. You could have the frame, like a training program, but if you don't provide the materials to build it and the workers to work it, um, then it, it, it does become pointless. And like you'll always get it. Like I've tried it, Faye's definitely tried it, to out-train a bad diet. It just doesn't work. You've tried it, definitely. You have tried it because you, you just eat what I eat. Yeah, but you always say, I would rather do extra cardio than eat less food. Yeah, if I can, <laughs> if I can have more food. And I'm not. I would rather be like, oh, I just eat a bit less. Like, I don't want to just, I don't want to be on that Stairmaster anymore than I have to be. Mm. Mm. Right. So that was the main one. Um, so is there any questions about that, about those phases um or like muscle gaining toning up muscle building <clears throat> and that's the thing like cam said you know you have to go through this phase in order to look toned you can't look toned by losing fat and not building muscle because you haven't got the uh body underneath to to show um so lots of people say to me oh i'm just gonna lose the fat and then i'll build the muscle after i might just fucking do it at the same time like you're so new do it at the same time. God's sake, like save yourself, uh, save yourself six months. And do it at the same time, and also you're setting yourself a, a good foundation for your build phase as well. Then that's what I said today after I flatlined doing one of the exercises. I said it's about the nutrition. Yeah, it is, Sam. That's Sam. Yeah, I mean you can go to the gym on no fuel. You could put no fuel in your car, and you might be able to drag it a mile 
two miles out of it because you're scraping along the fumes at the bottom of the tank. But eventually you will break down um, and it's not great. Sam can't wait to go to bed. No, sleep. 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 Sleep she's like, recovery. I just want to sleep to grow. Yes. Yeah, I just want to grow. She's going to wake up tomorrow with these massive muscles. You're going to wake up with massive arms. You're going to wake up with arms like Faye tomorrow. If you go to bed before 10 o'clock, I call it <laughs> the anabolic window. Um, what's anything else I wouldn't say in this? There's probably loads I wouldn't say in this. I don't think enough women do it. I think they ha- they're scared of it. I think they wait too long to do it. Uh, it is my, to be honest, it's my favorite time of the year. Is the fucking ball. I fucking love it. Because I can eat more food. I could train heavy. Yeah, I've got more energy so I can push heavy. I get PBs. I just love it. It makes me feel really, really, really good. Uh, then I can to uh, to cut. I'm like, fuck my life. Like, I'm hanging out my ass. I'm tired. I'm going to food. Cognitively, like, I start to have brain fog. Sometimes I can't think of words. My brain just slows down. My energy goes to shit. I don't like that feeling. I like to feel strong, badass. I like it when men look at me at the gym like, that bitch can lift. I fucking love that. I'd rather people look and go like, fuck, that bitch can lift than, oh, look at that girl just doing cardio all the time. That's what I'd rather. Katie Holmes. Hola. She's been on holiday. There you go. It looks like Sam can't lift her thumbs. Arms, that says can. Yeah, but look, she can't, oh, lift, right. she can't lift her thumbs. <laughs> Funny. Um, yeah. Right. So, so I think that is the wrap up. Build, go, choose a build phase. Choose a time to go through a build phase. That's what I want to know. Just just do it. My bish. My bish. See what I mean, guys? My bish. That's what just happened to my mouth trying to read. My biggest issue is acne. I'm breaking out more now than I ever did in high school. That's hormones. There's a hormonal issue. Could be um, bad digestive health, bad gut health. It could be. Uh, it could be because you're drinking all of your protein, Tammy, and not eating it. Um, so yeah, digestive issues. That's that's what it could be. It could be gut health issue. If you're eating a lot of uh, drinking a lot of whey protein, you could have some sort of like lactose intolerance. So definitely um, to play around with the food. Yep. Uh, what does uh, Katie there say? I've got a shit shoulder. I have a shit shoulder, yeah. No idea if it's going to go away. Well, I hope not. That would look really weird, wouldn't it, if you just had an arm, like, with no shoulder? Uh, the best thing for that is to go to your friend. Ben. The osteopath. Go, yeah, don't go to a chiropractor. Go to the osteopath in Swansea. What's it called again? Best Western? No. That's the hotel. <laughs> Western Relief, that's it. Western Bay Pain oh, Relief. It's in Gosina. Yeah. Try and book in with him and he will give you a... Discount. A time frame of what is realistic with a shit shoulder. Yeah. And how to get it back to, like, a not less so... Less shit. <laughs> less shit shoulder. <laughs> she's probably, because she's been drunk, she's probably hurt herself drinking. She's probably still drunk. She's been drinking on the plane. <laughs> Dr- drinking and driving. Playing. Drinking and flying. Mm. Uh, yogurt, probably, yeah. Yogurt. So. Then cut it out. Going off topic here. Pack it in. Pack it in. Um, yogurt is a, a probiotic, which everyone's like, yeah, get a probiotic. But if you've got a histamine intolerance, uh, probiotics can actually make things a lot worse. So it could be that you've got histamine intolerance. But you could just start by swapping out your yogurt, your like normal yogurt, to something like a coconut yogurt or something like that. Um, try and go dairy free for a little bit and see what happens. It's my top tip for you. Top tip. Whey protein as well. Like swap at the whey and go for like a, an isolate or a vegan or plant based. But again, don't forget those building blocks when it comes to plant based uh, proteins as well. There you go, guys. There we are. There we are then. Sorted. Um, I am looking forward to my next build phase, which will be in a month's time. I'm fucking bulking through summer, I am. Well, it's coming up, isn't it? <coughs> <laughs> uh, I do both Greek and regular, so swap out the regular then. Just do Greek. Just do Greek. Just do Greek. There you go. All right, you guys, we're going to leave you to it. It's a quiet one tonight, by the looks of things. I feel like through summer, it's going to get quieter, so I'm tempted to lessen the frequency of these. We'll just play it by, play it, um, 
We'll just play it by ear. Maybe, guys, if you're watching on the replay, put hashtag replay in the comments so we can see who actually watches it and the number of people and, uh, you know, if it's worth our time. Yeah, we don't know how many replays it gets. We know we know a lot of people do, but we just don't know how many. Yeah. And maybe we'll just chuck it to, like, two a week, like Monday, Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Maybe more people will join yeah. because they've realised they didn't start in time. So they think, I'm going to start early this time. They fucking will not. No, they probably won't. No. Okay, so we hope you all have a good, is it Monday? Yeah, Monday evening. Any questions, just chuck them in the group. Bye. Ta. Ta. Ra.